Liberty University has had a rich tradition of athletic success. None more prolific than the cross country and track teams. From 1986 until his retirement in 2020, Brant Tolsma was the architect of one of the nation's most successful and revered programs. Under his leadership, Tolsma guided his team to a remarkable 116 conference championships while coaching six NCAA Division I individual national champions. A common theme resonates around those that know Coach well and all say his faith in Jesus shined through him every day and that became the cornerstone of the track and field program. His unwavering commitment to the vision of the program, to use athletics as a platform to be champions for Christ. And it wasn't just about performing and athletic excellence, which was a huge reason why he's been so successful. It was about individuals growing in their walk with God. The point that all of us, myself included, realize I can't get this done. And it's not about me, but Christ working through me, then it gets done. And I think that's what he exemplified so well was reliance daily on the Lord to work in and through him. Uh, I think it started with his faith. And so uh, he was able to communicate his vision for liberty and that we would produce national champions. And at a time when liberty didn't have much and we didn't have a track, we didn't have great resources, he was the one that inspired us and believed that this program can accomplish great things. And really that called for a lot of vision and a lot of faith at that time. Through the success of the Liberty cross country and track programs, Brant Tolsma garnered 71 Big South and 6A Sun Coach of the Year honors, plus mentored 61 student athletes that earned all American honors. Coach Tolsma's attention to detail and razor sharp focus were just a few of the traits that made him such a great coach. He's a mathematician, so he's always got uh, his calculation of what we need to do in every event uh, to be successful, especially at our conference meets. The coach is very analytical, and he's got that engineering background, and so he would always have a calculated plan, and there was always that element of thinking through potential outcomes, and in all of his calculations, God was always part of the equation. Uh, I think of coach at a conference championship, and he had uh, his little cheat sheet of all of his uh, scores and he knew exactly how many points we were expected to pick up in every event and uh, if you didn't pick up those points coach let you know about it and uh, if you needed to pick up some points coach had that but uh, thankfully we were able to go into usually the last couple of events and know we'd either secured the championship or exactly what place we needed to be on and uh, that is just coach's mathematician brain. But I think because he was a numbers guy, a lot of the athletes knew, okay, hey, how are we doing? Oh man, if, if we do this and this race here at the end of the meet, you know, they accepted that challenge knowing that this is kind of where we stand right now. So I think that's part of the circling of the wagon, so to speak. As we honor Coach Brant Tolsman today, his colleagues all say there's no better person to have the indoor track named after. And I think it's a great staple for not just for Liberty University, but for this community also, that uh, this track is going to be in this honor. Um, so when anybody comes in here, uh, they're going to see the name Brant Tolsman in here, that he can go look it up and see all the great accomplishments he's had, uh, see his longevity that he had here, and see the impact that he had on Liberty University, Liberty Track and Field, and this community. I think it's very fitting to have this indoor facility named after him. His vision for where the program is going to go and what it was going to be uh, is really uh, foundational to the success that the program is experiencing and has experienced through the years. There is no one that is more fitting as a name to bestow on this facility uh, for someone who uh, through the decades and generations and uh, probably no one other than Dr. Fowler himself that invested more time and energy into Liberty student athletes that uh, the name of Brant Tolsma should be on this facility for generations to come. It's exciting for him to see that we're pressing on faithfully to represent Christ at the highest level. So in a word, that's what our goals are and that's what he helped lay the foundation for.